Hello everybody, that was so weird. I hadn't touched the phone, I hadn't done anything, and it just went off. So, sorry if I was wittering on, not knowing that you couldn't see me. Um, so are you still there? So, we were making shepherd's pie. We'd dry fried the lamb. You can do the same with veggie stuff. Um, then I took the lamb out. I put the onions in, um, cooked them until they were soft, added the lamb, then added a beef or lamb stock, jellied stock thing or a cube, and two cans of mushroom soup because that gives us the inbuilt gravy. So we've got a lovely, thick, delicious gravy already in the shepherd's pie. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you now. There you go, just cooking away. I wanna eat it now too, Em. There you go, and that will just cook away. So I'm gonna put that on a really low heat really low 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 and i'll keep on and i'll keep on checking on it so what i usually do is just leave a can with water in it uh, and then you know as i pop past i just might keep adding a little more you don't want it bubbling 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 you just want it pop pop pop, pop, pop. just really simmering i mean if it's easier just bung it in the oven. I've never done it in the oven just because my mum never done it, did it in the oven. But if you wanted to do it in the oven, put it like on 180 um, with your mash on top for about, how long would you put it in? I don't know, half an hour, something like that. It's just because I never do it in the oven. But what I will do, my loves, is I will put a picture of it up all finished and yummy with the mash on top. Um, and put a photo of it on Instagram. Just a few tips if you're doing the mash. Okay, make sure all your potatoes are cut in even size. Make sure that the water is cold. You never put root vegetables in hot water because what happens is they cook and get all mushy on the outside and not cooked in the middle. So into cold salted water. When they're cooked, you know, just put a, a, uh, the point of a knife into the middle, just check that they're tender. Drain them and then put them back in the pan and just on a very low heat, not for long, because they'll burn, just dry off the excess water. You know when you can get really like slushy mash? That's because people haven't dried off the last bit of um, water. Then add a big knob of butter or a vegan spread, whatever you use. You could, if you're vegan, you could just put olive oil in um, if you didn't want to use the milk. I put a little splash of milk, I put a big knob of butter, I put lots of pepper, you've put your salted, you've cooked them in salted water, but just another little bit of salt, mash, 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 taste for seasoning, pile it on top of your shepherd's pie, fork, 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 said the actress to the bishop, and then under the grill, that's what I do. I do, I put a little bit of butter on the forked mash as well. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, and I promised to put the photo up on Nadi Sawala and family Instagram. And, um, Guys, can you follow Mark on his Instagram? He does such a great Instagram. So many people's Instagrams are just so, uh, and his is great. So follow him, follow him there as well. Uh, could you ever be a vegetarian full time? Yeah, I think I could with the occasional bacon sandwich. I really love doing Veganuary and I'm gonna be um, vegan at least three to four days a week from now on. Yeah, three to four days a week, I will be vegan. I might even end up being five. But I definitely sometimes have some chicken and fish because I enjoy it. Uh, I've just made Irish toast, which is burnt with hard butter. James Flanagan. <laughs> I love a bit of burnt toast. Uh, Wonder Woman. Yes, Mark's Instagram is very artistic and it's funny and it's it's just really cool. Uh, cool. More vegan recipes. Sarah Taste. Absolutely. As I said, that whole recipe there, just do everything the same, but just use vegan. Um, you'd have to use a vegan soup and um, it's some sort of soy mince. Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, I will do some Middle Eastern food, Miss Mad Lemon, because I love cooking. Yeah, I'm a flexitarian, that's what I am, Jamie. Yeah, I do like cooking Middle Eastern, so I will cook some of that. So uh, for members, the Sunday show is going up about 1 p.m. today, because as you can see, 
he's still editing it. <laughs> um, and uh, BAFTA tonight, I'm sure. I know. Yeah, Mark will be watching that. Yeah, we'll be doing a yeah. Bit of, uh, um, thing about the winners. Lots of stuff going on. Following Mark. Thank you, Julie. Follow Mark on Instagram. Mark underscore... No, Mark Doghouse. What is it, Mark? Mark underscore Adderley. Mark underscore Adderley. His Twitter is Doghouse. His Instagram is Mark underscore a -double -D -E -R -L -E -Y. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. It was nice, a little surprise live. If you're new here, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and then you'll always be told... Well, sometimes you'll be told when we're doing a surprise live. 40 tomorrow, Beverly Newton. Happy birthday. Um, all right, my lovelies. See you soon. Bye.